One of the big draws to Windows deployment is the ability to have driver packages. This enables you to have a single image for many different platforms. So to add a driver package, right click drivers and select add driver group. Give a name to this driver group, most likely the name of the model that we will be adding the packages for. This really enables the end user to differentiate between different packages. I think that the server sees all of the drivers all together, but this helps us organize and group them by 32-bit, 64-bit, and whatnot. I always select install only the driver packages that match a client's hardware. And then I just click on finish. So this creates a driver group. After you add the driver group, right click drivers again and select add driver package. This is where we will add the driver package that we downloaded from the manufacturer's website. So in our case, we got it from Dell, support.dell.com. Select select all driver packages from a folder and navigate to where you downloaded and saved those files to. In our case, we were doing 64-bit drivers, so I'm selecting X64, click OK, Next, and now it finds all of the packages in the cab file. And on, on the Dell site, we went to the system management section, and that's where the cab file was. The file was about 350 megabytes, and it was a .cab. So we say Next, it found 327 packages. And now it's adding all of the driver packages. And after this part finishes, it will ask us which driver group we want to add them to. And since we just created the E7240 driver 64-bit driver group, that's the group we are going to add them to. Some of the packages may not add, so click on next and you'll see which ones did not make the cut. So 19 out of the 327 didn't make it. Some of those appear to be 32-bit drivers anyway. A couple were 64-bit and it's probably that they were not signed. So we're just going to click next and hope that those aren't important. They might be, they might not be. We'll find out later on. All right, so select an existing driver group, and this is where you'll select E72, the one that we just created. And I'm just going to leave all that as it is. You might be able to make custom settings for that, but I don't know how to do all that. So now our E7240 has drivers. Now we're going to create another driver group. So I need WinPE for the model as well. This is a new model that is different from the other ones. So I downloaded the WinPE driver pack for this, and I will later on inject those into my boot image. So I'm going to install all driver packages. Whoa, I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Install only the driver packages that match client's hardware. So I'm saying finish. And now... I created the group and I'm right clicking add driver package. Select all driver packages from a folder, browse to where we store them. Yeah, 
win PE. There we go. 64 bit. Okay. Next. Now it's finding all the win PE drivers. The win PE has a lot less than the driver pack. So it's 18 packages found. Clicking next. Now I'm concerned because this model is so new that some may not be signed. So out of 18, nine packages did not, they failed, nine failed. So only nine are gonna go through. And that's one of the troubles when the drivers are so new for such a new model, some aren't signed yet. So in this case, we're only going to be adding nine driver packages to this driver group. And I'm going to select the E7240 Win PE because that's the driver package. Finish. Okay, so now we have some. So that's how it's done. You could continue to do this for other models that you may have. In another video, you will see how we inject those Win PE drivers into a boot image and a capture image. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Subscribe to Tech Nuba. Tech Nuba.